Hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm still trying to recover from the last track. Arale, arale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for viewers, we were listening to Arale, arale just before this one. And that was so cool. So cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I would love to see more and more artists collaborating on that platform. It's, it's such a beautiful platform. No offense to Coke Studio, I always say that, but I think I have found a special place for Gan Bangla TV and Wind of Change in my heart. Definitely. I mean, what they are trying to do, the, the message behind it is one thing, but the setup itself, the, the product itself is so amazing. It's so, so well done. True. I mean, all right. So, by the way, we are listening to Nizam and Dinolia. Yep. Right? Why? Because Oisha. <laughs> Oisha, too many requests for this particular track. And if we hadn't had any request for this track, we would have heard this track because we love Oisha so much. So, and yeah. Krishna Poko, um, I mean, I personally absolutely love the track. And that track was, I was humming that like past three, four days, yeah. all day. Um, yeah, before we jump into this track, again, disclaimers, we no change, we cannot share this video, we will only share the audio because of copyrights and we respect that. Secondly, um, <clears throat> my voice is gone because I was sick this week, so uh, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, what else, what else? You have heard this Maybe song just, before or not? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't, I couldn't stop. <laughs> have you heard of it? Have you heard this? Yeah, I actually yeah. did not hear the full, but I heard um, the first minute and a half and mm -hmm. I was sold to the song already. Um, but as soon as Oishik started to sing, I just stopped yeah. it there. I thought that it would be better to just hear it on the camera. Yeah, by the way, um, before we go on, Jalal Bhai, the flutist. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. Jalal Bhai, you are amazing. <laughs> amazing. Seriously. All right. Let, let's jump into it, right? Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. One, two, three, start. That's the push. The guy in the white. Yeah, that's the push. The main producer, the brains behind yeah. this. What is this instrument? I don't know. I also wanted to ask the same. By the way, I heard the first minute and I don't know why, but I love the bassist. Moine. Moine she, she is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, she is. I mean, Jalal, Moinide, the drummers, the every single person there. Right? <laughs> Would like to know what this instrument is. The subtle use of flute in the background. Oh, yeah, this part. Instant ecstasy. So cool. How cool is that? Man? The voice. 
sons. I lost my breath. Okay. I lost my breath in the end. I swear I lost my breath. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. See, the, the, the basses, the, so the flutes, the, 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 the vocalist, and... Oh, oh my God. Man. Yeah, yeah. So, when you are into something completely, like totally immersed, then your your breathing pattern changes. Like you take shallow breath, yeah. small breath. You don't take a deep breath, right? When you're engulfed. Yeah. And after you get out of that experience, you have to <laughs> you touch your breath because yeah. you, have, you haven't been breathing. 
That's true. That's what happened I, to I, us. I, That's what happened to us. <laughs> I had to yeah. take the deep breath to bring myself back to consciousness again. <laughs> Throughout this track, I, I mean, usually what I do is I don't watch the video. I just listen to the audio, right? But while I was watching this video together with you, um, this is from 2017. I'm not sure how young Oishi was, mm -hmm. but they, I mean, either there were one thing happening. Either she was completely in trance, either that, or she was enjoying herself so much. Why I'm saying this? Because the way she was singing, she was also going a little bit off script, a little bit of notes mm -hmm. because she was enjoying that like the, the her throws at the end you know her her high notes and she was moving her this was, this was a live performance right yeah. and she had a mic and she was moving around and sometimes my guess gets off center yeah and in 2017 they don't have those mics that we do we have in 2022 now true which kind of which which are like omnidirectional. Yeah, I'm not sure if they had it, but yeah, she was enjoying it. Either that, or she she was entranced so much that yeah, she was. We talked about this in last video that she wears her heart on her sleeve. That's a True. that's a term we use in cricket, right? Yeah. That she brings hundred percent her, her all her emotion, and all of her soul, all of her effort to the fore. And you could see that in her face. All the viewers, you wouldn't be seeing that because we cannot share the video, <laughs> but we saw it. We saw it in her expressions, true. Yeah, and you are right. It, she does sound a bit raw, but man, I still loved her vocals. I mean, in the end, when she reached the higher notes, they were so difficult. And honestly, I thought for one moment, I thought that her voice is going to break when yeah, she yeah, yeah. when she sang the last part, which is the Nizamuddin Aulia, the last part. And no, <laughs> I mean, it was raw, but it was still very skillful. And what, what else I, I can say, as you mentioned, I mean, there's so much to talk about this song. Um, the artist, all of the house band was incredible, the, the bassist. The, the guy on the electric guitar, uh, the drummer, uh, the girl sh who was way playing violin. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the backing vocals, the guy who was doing the backing vocals mm -hmm. when they were singing the chorus, the backing vocals were also coming in very handy and supporting the vocals of uh, Oishi pretty well. So shout out to that guy as well. I think um, it was forgetting the name I'm just trying to see the name it was Makon and Kamal the two guys sitting at the back they were they started the song as well I, I want to mention one thing so when I said that I don't know how young she was in 2017 why I said it? because she had that brave aura you know that comes with youth when you are a teenager yeah. you have she has so much confidence, so, so much faith in her ability. Yeah, true. That whatever, however she was singing, she knew that she's going to deliver. And in her higher notes and all the pitch and all the, I mean, that pitch and everything while moving, she did that with so much confidence. So much confidence. I mean, if she didn't have that confidence, that would have fallen apart completely. Yeah, true. By the way, did you notice that they took a small pause when they started the Sarangi? So there was mm -hmm. a one second pause before that particular transition and it was really, really subtle and amazing. And I don't know if you noticed, but the, the, the tune that the guy was playing on Sarangi was basically of the song Tore uh, Bina Mohe Chen Naive. Just notice that when you hear it again. And the tune is basically of that particular song. I may be wrong, but it is very close. Just try to listen okay, it again. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. One more mention. Uh, one more thing that I want to mention before we move on. This is from the first season, right? Yeah. And 
we were discussing this in the last track we were discussing from season three, um, Arale Arale mm-hmm. with um, Mikala Sarban. That was season three. We did Kanahar Bazaar, which was the latest season, Later I think season. season six. The notice the evolution of music throughout the season. So w- what I noticed in particular was in season one, in this particular track, Taposh has given each instrument some space to perform. True. Right? You were mentioning that she got her own, her solo, own solo because yeah, she's so cool. Yeah. But it wasn't that. It was it was that he was giving each instrument some space to perform in mm-hmm. isolation. Yeah. Uh, some individuality for that instrument. Yeah. And that stood out. Now in season six, when you when you fast forward like six years, the the instruments don't get that space. Mm-hmm. They do tiny bit, but they are done differently. Yeah. It's done differently. It becomes some of the larger picture. Yeah. And some of all instruments yeah. is greater than individual. Individual, true. Right? So the, the tables has completely turned yeah. from season one to season six. I just noticed that maybe I'm wrong. Um, the sample size is very small so far, but uh, yeah, we'll get to listen that. it. We'll get to listen it in the latest songs of Wind of Change as well. I think they might release some yeah. more, uh, and we'll uh, we'll get to know that a bit more. By the way, I also noticed that in the Arale Arale song, we had two lead vocalists, Prio and Shamim, and Prio was basically one of the choir singers in this song. He was standing behind. Oh, so now I know who is Prio and who is Shamim. So <laughs> right, yeah. So in season one, I don't know if he had the chance to be on the center stage, but he was the choir singer. And in season three, Arale Arale, he was one of the lead singers. So that's also mm-hmm. an incre- incredible journey, I would say. I-, I might be wrong. He might have sung any other song in season one as well, but I just noticed that. All right. How long do you plan to talk about this track? <laughs> um, I couldn't stop, but we have to. <laughs> At some stage, yes. but we will continue yes. it on on our WhatsApp chat. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, that will happen. That will happen. But maybe let's jump on to some other track and continue the discussion after we have slapped on it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Alrighty. See, See you, you then. Bye bye.